Hey guys, my name is Musa. Uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, uh, Irdosh Renly uh, random graph generating system in Python. Uh, this is the code that I'm gonna show you how uh, Irdosh Renly generates a random graph and we will compare it with the internet networking graph. Uh, Okay, first of all, I'll start from uh, uh, first, uh, this is my code, Irdosh uh, Renly and the Internet Graph together uh, combined, and uh, we will be seeing the comparison between the Irdosh Renly and the Internet Graph the diameter, the degree, and the clustering of Erdos and Internet uh, Graph. And uh, you will find the, my calls and uh, the one that I entered from the Internet Graph, the number of nodes and uh, number of edges. Uh, this, you can find it in the link here, uh, this one. I used the first one, aspiring for the internet network. I used this data, and it have uh, 10,981 nodes and 30,855 edges. Okay, then uh, I will leave these links in the description below. Uh, first, you have to. Uh, uh, this is a Python, so you have to. In this tutorial, we are going to use the network X uh, library. So, uh, in this program, uh, this is uh, Irdosh Renly's uh, random uh, generating system. The number of nodes and the probability of the each creation and the seed, and it will create the empty graph, then it's and so on, so on. Uh, in the Erdos one, it will ask you the number of uh, nodes that you want to use and the probability, which is uh, the each, each probability that you want to use, then it will uh, randomly generate the graphs path. Uh, this is for the Erdos Renly generating the nodes and the probabilities it will ask from the user and it will generate. And this one is for the internet graph, uh, which is the network graph uh, that I told you about. This is the name of the data that we are going to use, which I downloaded from here. This one, this, this. So this will print the internet graph information uh, like average degree and the uh, number of nodes number of edges of the internet graph and this one will print the information of uh, Erdos which you will enter uh, uh, when it asks you from the user and this one is it for uh, if the internet graph uh, that you are using or the Erdos Renly that you are using, if it is directed or undirected, it will, this one is comparing if it's directed or undirected. And this is for the average clustering of the internet graph. And this is the, uh, no, the, this is the average clustering of the internet graph and the Erdos graph as well. For both of them, it will print like, uh, uh, continuously and this will check the transitivity of the internet graph and the Erdos Renly graph and this one is for the clustering of the internet and the Erdos graph it's like comparing the network and the network graph with the Erdos graph and you will see the results of them side by side so so you can compare them this is the degree centrality of both of them the internet graph and the Erdos Renly and this one is the diameter of the Erdos Renly and the internet graph and finally it will draw the Erdos graph and 
it will show the graph and uh, for the internet graph as well it will show the internet graph drawing which is really huge uh, it will take almost a lot of time to calculate the diameter and uh, to draw the internet graph but I'll try to manage the timing okay let's start here uh, first first of all you have to put the the graph the downloaded uh, file of the networking graph and the code in the same folder uh, okay let's go cd where is my path Okay, uh, my code is here in the final tutorial. Okay, here it is. So I'm gonna use Python 3. Uh, this program is for Python 3, so you can use Python 3. Uh, fast file name. And uh, it will ask you the number of nodes for the Erdosh graph. And uh, you have to enter whatever you want. I will, I'm gonna give it 100 nodes. And the probability I will give it. Um, 0 0.4 okay then uh, it will display like this the number of nodes is of the Erdos is like this the number of each is like this I'm sorry I have to go back it's a lot Okay, here it is. The number of nodes is uh, for the networking graph, which is this one, Orion 2. It's 10,000 and uh, 31,000 number of edges. And the average degree of uh, the in networking graph is like this. And for the Erdos graph, the, info the information is, is like nodes are like 100 that the one we entered, and the number of edges it will. Uh, 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 randomly calculate it with the probability that you are entering so it's uh, 2003 and the average degree is uh, like this because uh, we gave it unproportional number of nodes and the probability uh, and if uh, this is the checking part if it's directed or undirected graph as I said here this is the info that you get this and this is this one is calculating the information first then here uh, if they are directed or undirected it's checking here and uh, the average clustering uh, of the internet graph is like this and uh, the average clustering of the Erdos graph is like this which is here the one in this code is calculating the average and the transitivity will be like this as well for both of both graphs the internet and the networking and the clustering of the internet graph is uh, a lot because it's 31,000 edges with 10,000 nodes and so it will be like a lot and it will calculate as well for the Erdos it will be 100 so it's very small and finally it will calculate the diameter 
and uh, degree centrality as well. Uh, it will take a lot of time to calculate the degree centrality, which is this one, and this one are really huge. And the diameter, it will calculate all these. And finally, it will draw the graphs of the Erdosh and then the graphs of the network. Still going. It's gonna take some time. Okay, it's still going. So we'll finish some. As you can see here, the degree centrality of Erdos graph it's calculating like this. It's very small. No hundred area. Yeah. Starting from here until here is the Erdosh graph center centrality with 100 nodes. Now it's trying to calculate the diameter of the graph, which is this one. It's gonna take a while to calculate the diameter because it will check in every path of the <coughs> the 31,000 uh, edge and 10,800 nodes of the network graph and uh, for the Erdos graph with 100 nodes and the probability of 0 0.4 so it's gonna take a while okay uh, it's going to take a while so I'm gonna pause the video and uh, I'm gonna continue when it's displaying the diameter and the uh, graph of the Erdos and the networking graph. Yes, I'm back. Uh, okay, finally it displayed the last result, which is the diameter of the Erdos graph, this one. And the diameter of the network graph which is here as you can see and finally drew the Erdos and it will draw the uh, the network graphs uh, this is the diameter of the Erdos graph that we entered two which is two the diameter of the internet graph which is uh, nine uh, and finally it's plotting the diameter the uh, graph of the Erdos which looks like like this it's kind of creepy because it's 100 nodes as you can see and we gave it 0 0.5 of the probability from one node to another node it's 0 0.5 so as you can see it's like this if you decrease it uh, of the number of nodes and try to run it over and over again you will see the difference of this okay I'm gonna close this one and it will display the network graph as well when you close this to display the network graph it's gonna take uh, a lot of time as well because it's 31,000 nodes with uh, 10,000 each so it's gonna take a lot more time okay guys uh, and this one is for the uh, networking graph it just displayed it uh, with uh, 30,000 and uh, 10,000 nodes 30,000 each and 10,000 nodes uh, so this is the last of the code which displayed the uh, networking graph
Okay, this is all, but I should have told you in the first how you can run this code. Uh, first, you will be needing the NetworkX library, which you can install in uh, uh, a used Python 3 for this code. So you will be needing to use Python 3 or you have to modify it into Python 2 uh, programming language. So here uh, to install the network X you can easily use pip3 uh, network X install network X like this and you can install the libraries the uh, matplotlib library uh, well, that's all if you install these libraries you will be able to run my code and try to put it in the same folder of the file that you imported for the network X you can download any files from the link that I'm going to post and uh, if you have any questions feel free to comment and subscribe to my page thank you